Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com for this week's angel messages. We're using our big deck stack of angel cards for our messages today. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. All right. So with this big stack, I'll just place it next to my heart, invite the angelic realm in to support us, to guide us, to bring healing and love, the beautiful light. We can feel that now. And I'm going to shuffle these with that same intention. And then I'll take the top card. So we'll do this each time. <laughs> Let's take that top card. Time to go. So this is number one. Time to go. I love that because it's all, you know, violet. There's some yellow in there and some blues. So your guardian angel is here with you. It says the sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. Which is true, the seasons change, nature shows us that there is an ending and a new beginning. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. And that's the thing, isn't it, that when there's an ending sometimes, it can be very difficult being in that place in between an ending and a new beginning. So your angels are just saying, don't worry, have faith that as things change, as there is an ending, there is always a new beginning. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So when I see that, you see there's a lot of movement and there's a light that's there, it's following the light. So for you, I feel part of this message is also about the light, of allowing light in. When we go through change, when we end something, there can be a feeling sometimes of darkness, of heaviness, of maybe discontent or lack of faith that there's going to be a new beginning. If you imagine when you've ended a relationship and there's often that thought of there's never going to be another person like that or another relationship and there is, there's somebody that's there. Maybe eventually it can take time. Other times it can be immediate. So it's just opening yourself up to the light, allowing the light in to cleanse you at this time. And then letting your being know, letting your essence let go of what no longer serves you or what can't move forward with you in your life, whatever it is you're ready to release or maybe whatever it is it's time to release because sometimes we're not always ready are we at least we think we're not ready especially as humans you want to hold on and hold on but i feel your angels are just saying oh, it's time to let go it's time to go so where would that be in your life now let us know all right number two shovel the cards again all right so we've got another one of these purple cards law of attraction I always love when that card comes up so it says each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely so true your thoughts create you know we talk about as being creative beings and as creative beings, we magnetize, we become magnets, and we magnetize to us what we focus on. So what are you bringing into your life at this time? Are you, you're bringing in experiences, you're bringing in wonderful things, you're bringing in blessings, you're bringing in lessons, and you might be bringing in an experience of something being difficult around the law of attraction. So how can you change your thoughts, your feelings, your patterns, the routine within you? How can you change that so that the external experience, the external lessons can reflect that, can reflect something 
wonderful, can reflect the law of attraction that you most desire at this time. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace and harmony. That's key, right? At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So ask. That's what your angels are saying. Ask. Ask us for help. We're here to help you. Of course, your angels, they can only do so much. We're in partnership with this energy. We're in partnership with our angels. We're in partnership with the divine. So when you're asking for help, you also need to help yourself. So you're asking for help. Maybe that is the message right now is that you've asked for help and I'm here saying it's time to look within at what you are thinking, what you're feeling, what you're focusing on, what has been your routine, what has been your belief and change that so that you can, if it's been negative for you, so you can mirror something, reflect something, attract something that is much more in alignment with what you desire. Okay? Let us know how that feels for you. Number three. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Okay. Number three. Ooh, you get a fairy card. Easy does it. So it's taking it easy. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. This reminds me, as I'm reading this, this is a beautiful image. You see there's a rainbow and there's the ocean. It's just kind of going with the flow and enjoying life. This reminds me that when you are looking for your keys, when you've lost your keys, you're looking, 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 looking everywhere and you can't find them as soon as you just relax and stop looking or relax and say, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to come back to my center. That's when you find them. When we push, when we push and push, if it's not the right time, doesn't matter how much we're pushing, it's just not going to work. So maybe if we allow, it doesn't mean to stop moving forward, not at all. It just means to take a little bit of time, relax, release, take a little time out and go with the flow of the energy. So it doesn't mean that you're not pushing forward. It just means that you're going with the flow of the energy instead of pushing against it. So if you imagine a, a door and that door only opens when you gently move it open instead of pushing it, trying to push it open, it's a little bit like that. It's just the doors are opening up when you gently glide and move with grace through them. How does that feel for you? I feel like there's more to it as well. So stop trying so hard to control everything. Stop trying so hard to control everything. So, you know, we, we do that, don't we? We want things to be in a particular way at a particular time. And your angels are just saying, let go. Let go. And again, to go with the flow of the energy. It's not stopping you from focusing on your goals, focusing on your mission, moving toward them, having plans. It's not stopping you from that at all. But if something isn't working, then maybe it's time to regroup. Maybe it's time to just step back for a little bit and see where you are trying to move things in a direction that you want. And maybe you need to step back and say, okay, universe, Okay, divine, okay, light, okay, source. Show me the way, guide me, support me. Because when you do that, then you allow. You go into this place of allowing. You also go into a place of gratitude as well, I feel. Sometimes when we push, 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 we're forgetting about the energy. We're so focused on getting there instead of really being in the flow of that vibration, of that energy, of that light. So we can miss out. 
maybe angels are saying to you, you know, you're missing out on something. So step back and just allow the energy to take you instead of pushing it to take you. How does that feel for you? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for connecting with your angels today. Sending you so much love and angel blessings. See you next week.